Hi friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Corner Life. This is a wonderful show where we sew together, answer questions and just have quilty fun. I hope you will enjoy what I have prepared for you today. I thought, you know, last Friday live show was all about houses and this month Little Quilts Club was Little House. Why not make one of the blocks together today? How do you feel about it? Yes? Are you in? Let's go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a block from our little house quilt. Look at how cute it is. I just finished my quilt top. I'm going to be quilting this weekend. I have a, a gorgeous Alaska quilt that is going to go on a frame. And in the bottom, I know there's going to be little leftovers so, uh, of backing. So I'm going to put this uh, gorgeous little quilt top on. Um, you probably wonder what is the quilt behind me yes that was the buzz and if you notice on instagram i posted really fun a little video if you have not seen that you have to go and see it and uh, this video has something to do with those beautiful flowers and the quilt right behind me this quilt calls quilter's patch and also have a beautiful house in the center and a gorgeous variety of 12 inch finish flower blocks so that quilt you can find in our book called quilter's patch the book was published with so emma with fat quarter shop and the blocks have wonderful descriptions everything is included in the book and in case you wanted some new beautiful fabrics i just recolored this quilt you can see the picture on my website in this beautiful sewing basket collection yes you're right this is one kit those are all the fabrics for this gorgeous quilt back here there is piecing there's a little bit of appliquing but you will be making 12 flower blocks if you decide on it and with every block your quilting garden will be blossoming because you're gonna be learning new techniques or refreshing on old ones you know like tulips they come back every spring every spring so refresh on it or maybe you're gonna fall in love with a block and you're gonna uh, wanna make more and more of those. So that is the quilt behind me. But today I'm gonna focus on our low quilts club and our little house. This is so much fun. Our uh, low quilts club is a subscription that you can go ahead to our website and sign for it. Yes, it's available. You can sign in anytime you want it. And if you decide after four or five months you don't want to make any more low quilts, you can just uh, cancel your subscription or you can join back in if you have canceled before. So anytime you want it, you can join us. And I love the low quilts. And guess what? If you join this month right now, you can still get the low house. And next month we have two in a price of one. You get two little quilts in a price of one. So I hope you join us in. It's such a fun event. Every month you get a kit. In the kit, there are pieces included. This month the kit is pre-cut. The only thing you have to cut is your inner border and outer border. And then the backing is included as well. So that is for this month. And just a little note, if you ever open your little quilts club and anything is wrong, something is not right, just email us. Our customer service is incredible. I am so thankful to my girls because if you have any problems or any suggestion, we immediately get a chance to fix it and do it uh, the way to make you happy. And that's all that is about it. I want your little quilts to be a joy, joy, joy to you. So join in and enjoy with us this little quilts club and little house is gonna be so much fun to make. In the kit, you have enough for eight little houses, but once you have the pattern, you can cut it from your own stash and make more and more of them, or you can use just one for a little pin cushion. Let me show you how I make one block. So I'm gonna start by pulling the pieces out of my kit, and I'm gonna open a kit just to show you. Let me see. This one is not open. Okay, let me open it up. It's nicely taped, so I have to cut it. When you open it, you're gonna see a cute little bag. In this bag, all your pieces are pre-cut, really nice. Then you have your border, you have your inner border and a, a binding, 
and then there is a piece of fabric for your backing so you have all of those wonderful things i'm gonna focus on my uh, blocks those are right in here and i already pulled one out from another package and i pulled a roof two tr half square triangle for the uh, sky then i have a rectangle for the top rectangle for the bottom i have two beautiful light windows and three rectangles in between that's all the pieces that you need you're gonna want to start with the roof by taking the uh, quarter square triangle and placing this half square triangle from a sky right sides together just like this and you're gonna stitch beautifully starting from the point straight down when you start stitching remember to start up like a little leader a little piece of fabric that you pull it through because you don't want this point to end up into your bobbin hole so right there you want to just something nice to start with it as soon as you sew you're gonna flip the seam open and you're gonna push that seam towards the roof okay then you're gonna go ahead and take a second uh, triangle and place this triangle right here and sew it flip it open this time notice this triangle we're gonna push the seam allowance towards the background sky and all that you have to do is either finger press it or maybe you want to use that cute little tool from clover it's like a little roller i love it because it's so small and easy to use it or you can use one of our wood pressing tools as soon as i finish i'm gonna press with an iron warm it up and i put my clapper right on it because i want this point right there to be nice and flat so this clapper is gonna hold it down and the wood is gonna keep that heat down and it's gonna stay really nice so that's what i would do then i'm gonna focus on the middle part of my house what is the windows and the rectangles in between all that you have to do take two together one light one dark place it right sides together and stitch it using a quarter inch seam allowance flip it open and you can push those seams towards the dark then you're gonna do a second set just like this stitch it flip it open finish by sewing this to this and then sewing this to this and now you have a row let me show you my row that i already prepared for you right here look at this uh, windows i'm pushing my seam allowance towards the dark you can open your seam allowances again press it take your clapper pr place it on it then work on your next little house or you can do chain sewing and do all the windows for all the houses as soon as you finish you can go ahead and check if the width of the window total is four and a half if it's not gently trim it from the left and the right if it's too small small leave it alone we're going to absorb that to the seam allowance but um, in many cases it's probably a little bit too long for you if you are shy on your quarter inch seam allowance so this is teaching you a good quarter inch seam allowance as soon as you finish uh, trimming now you just go ahead place the rectangle on the top stitch flip it open and then do the same thing right here on the bottom stitch flip it open and all that we have to do is add this flying geese unit also known as a roof onto the top and before i stitch this unit i'm gonna trim it i'm gonna make sure that i square things out and trim those bunny ears right there then i'm gonna go ahead and place it and stitch it up and uh, flip it up and once i press it it is so much fun to make those cute little houses look at how adorable they are your house should be four and a half by six and a quarter four and a half by six and a quarter once you have all eight houses done let me show you the little quilt all that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go ahead and line them up either following the cover of the pattern so that way all your colors are exactly like mine or you can go ahead and do your own arrangement and you're gonna sew them into three rows for the side rows you have three houses three houses here for the 
a metal rod we're gonna add a rectangle from a background and that is already pre-cut ready set go for you so don't even worry about cutting it's in this package right there in the bottom all the other pieces are sitting right on the top of it and you're gonna go ahead stitch it then stitch your rows together there is something that i did with this quilt i did not match and lock seams i want the seams to be a little bit off because there were quite a bit of bulk so i didn't want to match them up i wanted the houses to be like a little bit uneven so they're like on a low hill once you have your center done you're gonna go ahead and add a one inch inner border and then outer border into the quilt just following the directions in the pattern by sewing to the left right top bottom press left right top bottom press and now you're ready set go you can either hand quilt or machine quilt this cute little quilt so that is for that one now i brought some other things to show you today because i know now you're gonna be loving this little quilt and you're gonna be wondering what fabric i use and i have a lovely surprise for you today since you have been so good and listen how to make the little houses if you want more fabrics today we have a special until friday so only today thursday and it's until friday we have special on our english garden collection it's the deal of the week yes and you are the first one to hear it you're gonna just type the word deal and you're gonna get extra 15 percent on layer cakes fat eight charm packs or fat quarters and i have the fat quarters here too so if you want to make more houses you maybe want to treat yourself for a layer cake or a fat eight or fat quarter or maybe a little charm pack to add to this cute little quilt if you would like to do that so the fat quarters are so beautiful and we also have a uh, deal of the week will include also our, our english garden threads from ortho a, uh, also it's going to be extra 15 percent off if you go to our website and get them today tomorrow or friday so i hope that is a fun treat but i'm gonna keep on the table lay a cake and a charm pack because i'm gonna be answering questions now and then i'm gonna ask you guys a question and see if you remember what we were doing so i'm i think i'm gonna start first before i answer a question i'm gonna ask you a question can you tell me how many houses were in our little quilts, uh, in our little house quilt? So if you remember, I told you how many, please answer that. And in the meantime, I'm going to see if there's any questions that you guys have for me. Erin, is there any questions? We do. Yes, we do have a few questions. Um, our first one comes um, from uh, Eamon, and she was wondering, hi, I do have a pre-cut kit and like these and is it okay should she starch her pieces i would not recommend starching the pieces the pieces before we if you purchase the kit from us we always press the fabric before it's cut so that's already done for you and um I, what I would do is just start piecing and then if you want to add a little starch to it after you finish your blocks to give a little stiffness to it, please let's do it. Sometimes if you have a small pieces and you start spraying them and starching them, there may be a little bit of a movement of the threads and I always shy away from that. Look at how this kit is done. We pride ourselves in the pre-cut kits and uh, recently a friend of mine came and visited with me and she brought Alaska pre-cut kit uh, I'm gonna be showing this quilt on Friday and our live show and she was so happy with the pre-cut pieces look at how beautifully they lined up everything is nice press ready set go there's not a crinkle there's no reason to do anything to it but just take it and enjoy it and start sewing with it and because it's laser cut the edges are not fraying as much as the regular rotary cutting so you could have some really fun 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 as soon as you finish block yes and i like to use best press to um, give a little stiffness uh, stiffness to my blocks so you can do it as well and uh, uh, press it from the back i always spray it from the back 
press it from the back and I just press it. I don't slide my iron so I would not shift and disturb the threads in the weave and stretch fun away my blocks. Okay, any other questions? And did anybody answer my question? Yes, we do have a winner actually. Oh, I love that. This was for the charm pack? Yes. Yes. Can we do two of them? Can yes, we, we can. Ooh. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to pull a winner also because we're on Facebook today and YouTube. I so. love oh, that. Hello, Facebook my too. Facebook friends. We're trying something new today. Michael is working really hard for us to also uh, live stream to our Facebook. So um, definitely let's do one for Facebook and one for our live YouTube. show on YouTube. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so on Facebook it is Patricia Schroeder. All right, Patricia Schroeder on Facebook. Wonderful. Congratulations, Patricia. How many uh, uh, houses we have? Yes, you are correct. You're going to be winning our charm pack so that way you can in, uh, enjoy our English garden. This charm pack is so much fun. There are 42 pieces in it. Some of the pieces repeat because there are 36 pieces in a collection and it is just delightful. You can take one charm pack, sew it together and make a beautiful table runner with just squares. The colors are so much fun. Now our second winner of a charm pack is yes um it also again eight little houses and yes. patricia bowen patricia and patricia <laughs> yes <laughs> oh guys this is amazing so well, to both patricias it. please remember email us your addresses so that way we can ship it to you your beautiful door prices and congratulations to both of our patricias yeah for winning those little charm bags. Now we have a second question of the day. And this time I'm going to also do one for Facebook and one for our YouTube. Oh, wow. okay. Somebody, yes, Michael is excited. Somebody's going to win this beautiful uh, layer cake from our English garden. And I will have one for Facebook and one for YouTube. If you tell me, you have to guess it, how many gorgeous tulips I have in my vase today. Ooh. It is just guessing. And I hope if you win, you're also buying a lottery ticket for tonight. <laughs> so, um, because you must be very lucky to win a charm pack yeah. uh, or a layer cake. And do we have any other questions today? We do. Um, Nita was wondering, is there a, Hi, Nita. a die or a template for the little house? She has a larger die for a house, but she loves this little guy. Isn't he cute? No, we don't have it, but we do have this little quilt scrap that all the pieces are already pre-cut for you. And if you guys like this one, I'm thinking maybe we are also going to put up a little bigger version or maybe sets of 12 houses on our website to purchase already pre-cut. So just let me know if you like them because we, I do love it. It went so quickly together. It took me less than two hours to do the whole quilt. It was so much fun. I did all chain sewing. So I went and chain sew all my roofs. First, I sort my fabrics. Then I went ahead and start chain sewing. I did all the roofs, then all the windows, put it together. It went smoothly. I only had eight to do it. So I had a ton of, ton of fun. And for sure, I'm going to see if we can create a kit with pre-cut pieces, a bigger one for everybody that love, 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 love. If you are our member and you're already getting the kit and this month, maybe you desire to, there is nothing wrong to reach out and just let us know and we can see what we can do to send you two of the kits in case you want to make it your quilt a little bit bigger. So just let us know. We're always looking forward to hearing from you guys. Do we have an answer on mm -hmm. our, or we want to give a little bit more time? No, we've got plenty of good we answers. Do. Yes, and yes. correct answers at that. Yes. So Wow, I'm so excited. So, yes. uh, Mike, do you want me to go first or you? I'll go first. I'm here. Um, the correct answer for everybody was 10. Yes. So I had quite a few correct answers. Uh, normally we do a mm -hmm. random. This time mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the first person that got it on our side. And it was Christine Cole. So Christine Cole, I think. Hi, Christine, you guessed it correct. I had to count it one more time to make sure that it was 10. And they are so beautiful. My dear, dear Erin treated me for those this morning. And when I came in, it just made my day. And you know, this weekend is going to be Easter weekend. If you have a friend, if you have somebody that you uh, care about, just 
get them a tiny bouquet of tulips, go visit them and make some little houses with them. And nothing says like I love you than stitching together. I can guarantee you that because every time I get together with my mother-in-law, nothing but sparkles of love comes out of it. So I know it works. I practice that. <laughs> do we have an answer on our YouTube? We do. So uh, our person that guessed that correctly was Natalie LaRue with 10. Natalie, congratulations to So both girls on Facebook and YouTube, our winners, Natalie, and who was our winner on? Christine. Christine, please both of you guys email us your address so that we can ship you gorgeous lay a cake from English Garden and to everybody else please go to our website because today is this is the uh, weekly special 15% off additional if you type the word deal you can get lay a cake charm pack fat quarter fat aid now is the time to stack on those goodies now if you shopping you're probably gonna want a nice low threads and everybody who buys the boxes they always talk about how fun and organized those are and today i brought two other plastic boxes that we have on our website just to show you i don't know if you guys know but we have this fun bobbin box i love this one so easy to line up your bobbins or if you're making a small english paper piecing you can put those little hexagon all in line right here and both boxes work great for English piecing and organizing this is the larger box and look at this one has a little area where you can put your bobbin threads you can put some pins this is a magnet and now you can line up all your goodies right here and there's extra dividers that you break and then you can create this box the way you like i love this kind of boxes when i prep uh English paper piecing and when I travel because I just grab one box even when I go to the beach I put it in my beach bag and then I can play a little bit on the plane I pull it out I'm super organized and everybody around me just want to know what am I making so that is so nice also this little tool like I said it would be fun tool to take with you travel because it's uh, small and fun and light and it's easy if you have to press some seams and you do not have an iron with you do we have any other questions for today uh, we do specifically about little quilts club and all these fun little quilts that we're doing I love that. Um, we're wondering uh, do you have any recommendations for quilting the little quilts oh so many and you know with every month I try to um, I'll give you a suggestion. For now, we have been quilting it on a small machine. And I, to me, it's there are perfect projects to quilt on a smaller machine. If you do not have a long arm, it's just perfect because they're small, easy. You can use leftover uh, bedding. Now, um, if you wanted to, you can put few of them on a long arm. And that's what I showed in one of the videos. I had three of them laying in a row. And when I finished a quilt, I did uh, those three. And that's what I'm doing right now with my um, Alaska English garden. Once I finish quilting that, I have few that I needed quilting. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. But every month when we're sending you little quilts club, we send you some fun goodies. And... Um, Sometimes I send you a thread, sometimes a needle, sometimes a ruler, sometimes a, a coupon. Upcoming month, I have chosen a hand quilting thread and a stencil that we're going to be sending to you. So in next few months, I'm going to suggest for you to do some hand quilting on your little quilts. If you're just doing a simple machine quilting, all that I would do is go with the lines, I call it. What it means? stitch in a ditch stitch in a ditch and you can come up and just stitch in a ditch and keep going go around the windows if you have to sometimes double stitch on some of the lines it's okay just wander yourself around the quilt or a simple cross hatch would work just incredible why because you can draw your line matching the roofs and that way offset it a little bit this would be fun 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 too and it would give a nice checkerboard right on the top of your quilt so cross hatch or stitch in a ditch for this one definitely if you do 
uh, stitch in a ditch then go ahead and stitch in a ditch right here around that little inner border and it leaves you a nice border and for the border a simple loop-de-loops -loops. you don't have to do a lot something less is better to me that's what I like to do why did I choose loops because I had straight lines here when I stitch in a ditch so to me giving a little curve accent would be a really nice design idea so that is for suggestion for the quilting for this one. Do we have time for one more question, please? We do. Awesome. And actually, um, this next question is from Ruth Ann, and she hi had, Ruth. She had a question um, about threads, actually. Okay. Um, she's right now doing our sewing basket block of the month, and she oh, was wondering, cool. can you use colored silk thread for this, or oh. would you? And would you use the same silk thread in the bobbin, or would you do cotton? So um, if you use a silk thread, I myself, I'm a, a huge believer to do a cotton thread in a bobbin, a nice foundation, something that is super simple and generic, and you don't have to switch back and forth. Of course, you have to adjust the tension because with a silk thread, your tension has to be a little tighter because silk thread is very, very thin, but a silk thread for the top, if you can add a little extra detail, probably would be very, very nice. I'm a big fan of uh, wonderful threads and orophil threads, and I like to either use weight 50, a little bit heavier than silk, or if I use wonderful, I like the polyester thread because they have the sheen to it. So it gives a little glamour look, a look to my seams, but most likely you will see me with a cotton weight 50, just being cool, come and collect them and hide a little bit into the seam, but with a notch, nice little detail of extra pink or extra green around the edges of applique. So that's what I would do. Perfect. I just want to quickly apologize too to our, our viewers out there. We are on Instagram also. Uh, but oh, wonderful. I, I don't have a way to see their comments right now. So we'll figure that out um, for next time. But just to apologize to our viewers out there on that. Oh, but, thank you so much for letting but, us know. We're trying something new, guys. We're streaming to three different platforms as we're doing this live show. But it's amazing. So please be patient with us. And let's do this after the show maybe uh myself and aaron we can go back and look at through your comments so keep posting those comments keep tagging us and we're gonna find a winners there too we're just gonna notify you differently we have to look at those and see if we can capture your live comments from instagram so next time we'll be better prepared we're gonna have a stream on an ipad instagram so that way mm -hmm. We are multitasking and double tasking and enjoying your company to the fullest. I hope you enjoy this little show um, called uh, Quilting Corner with Laundry Basket Quilts. If you like our shows, please give us thumbs up, share with your friends and make houses and welcome your friends to your homes and sew with them. Happy quilting and I love to see you on Friday for our regular live show, uh, Quilting Window. Happy quilting!